In this Code.org lesson, we get to utilize some of our friends from Star Wars to code and to make games and make the computers do what we want them to, like the Force or something. So excited. Let's get going. This is Code.org. Let's get going here. All right. Use five of the same blocks to get scrap metal. Scrap metal glows like this. Oh, all right. And so we have one block in our workspace and we can use up to six. So same blocks. That's a pretty big hint to me. One, two, three, four, five, right? Five move forwards. So they have to be the same. Let's see. Yeah. Victory onwards. What do you think will happen when you click run? Ooh, so be careful of this. When you make, select an answer and hit run, your answer is submitted to your teacher. So you don't get to change it afterwards either. So let's talk and think about this. All right. So when run, repeat five times do move forward. Well, notice how this pink block is entirely surrounding the move forward, right? It's like wrapped around it. So repeat five times do move forward. Hits here. And then wait a minute it should be repeating. It has to run it five times before it would move on to a block beneath it. So if there was something beneath this, first, whatever's in this pink mouth thing would run five times because of the five. So I would move forward five times and then I'd be done. Uh, will not, nah, I think it's this one. Let's see. That's similar to what we did last time, but less blocks. Awesome. Uh-huh, onward. To get all the scrap metal, try creating a loop. Yep, so uses a repeat block. So this time, looks like we still have to go five spots. Let me grab out my repeat, just like we saw. And let me, you notice how I had a one? I should be used move forward once. Let's try. Yeah. Onward. So loops are going to be really powerful. Let's see here. So I have one block. I can use up to six. Ooh, we can use two repeat loops. Okay. So what I often do is I'm going to just throw down code blocks to see what I would do before using a repeat. So one, two, three, four, I think. And then what am I going to do? Turn right, I think. And the great thing about code is you can be wrong. Test it. Break stuff. Yep. Yep. Okay, so I need to move forward. How many more? It looks like three. One, two, three. Hmm. So now that I have all this built out, what can I use a repeat on? Well, how many times do I use move forward? One, two, three, four times there. So instead of repeating myself, I can use the repeat block, drop and drop. Now this will run it four times, then I'll go right, right? And then, oh, wait a minute, I'm repeating myself again. And how many times was that? I think five, I should have counted. Let's try. Yeah, onward. Okay, one, and I can use up to five. Where am I? All right, so I'm just going to start throwing down blocks. I'll go forward and then turn right, I think, and then forward, forward, forward. I think I'll need one more move forward, but let's test. Yep, and we can watch it run here. All right, now I can lay this down, but notice how it says seven. That's because I'm over. This won't turn the correct color of green if I'm over. So let's look for any repeats. Wait a minute, one, two, three, four times saying move forward. We don't need to. We can make the computer do the repeating. Let me get rid of this. Drop that there. Oh, wait, I was one shy, remember, before? So I need five, actually. And now what's going to happen? When I click run, I'll move forward once. I'll turn right. Then, five times in a row, I'll move forward. Victory! All right. Loops even work with more than one block inside. Can you loop this sequence? Okay, so we have five blocks on the board and we can use up to six. Let me see what this code does. Okay, so how could I loop it? Well, I'm gonna do what I often do. I'm just gonna start throwing blocks down. It says zero, but I just wanna try to see. So I ended here turning right. Let me move forward then. It looks like three maybe. And then what? Mm, maybe another turn right, I'm thinking. And then maybe some move forwards. Let's see what this does. I'm way over, but it's good to plan like this. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now where could I use a loop in this? Well, I move three times, I turn right, then what do I do? I move three times and I turn right, then what? I move twice. 
Now, would it matter if I moved an extra time at the end and happened to turn right? I don't think so. So that's one way we could loop this. I've also seen students do this, so I can repeat all of that three times. You could also do something like this. Three, three. But this still has you over on blocks. So, boom, boom. Because each side is the same, we can do it like that. If you want to get real fancy, you could put a repeat three instead of move forward inside of this. Onward. Oh my goodness, lots of stuff. Okay, so we have one block on our screen. We can use up to six. I'm going to do what I like to do. I'm going to throw down some code and break some stuff and test. No idea if this is right. Let's see. Whoa, that was fast. Okay, that's actually looking good. I'll keep going. Now I'm way over on code, but I'm just testing. Wait a minute. Look at this. It's stairs, right? And so stairs are kind of the same thing over. Let's look for repeated code. Well, huh. Move forward. Okay. Wait a minute here. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Turn right, move forward, turn left. Move forward, turn right, turn left. Move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. And I bet I was about to do it one more time at least. So we don't need to. We have a block that will do that automatically. I'll leave this at five because I think we need it a bit more. Let's see. Boom. Onward. Ooh, I love the challenges. We got this. So we have one block on the screen and we can use up till 10. I'll do what I always do. I'm going to start testing stuff out. So move forward. I think that's a right turn. Move forward, right turn, move forward, whoop, got that wrong. And that's what's great, you could be wrong, it's code, test, be wrong. Better. So this is going good, but I'm already over on blocks and I've only got this side. Let's start looking for repeated code. Oh yeah, move forward, left, forward, right, same. So, goodbye and goodbye. Let's do this instead. Drop. Now, five might be too much. I can't tell. Let's see. Okay, but we still have some stuff left to do here. Good thing we have more blocks to use. So once the loop is done running, once we do this five times in a row, it would allow us to run code beneath it. Now, we only have four blocks, I guess, left to use. I could try to turn around. I haven't used a move backwards before. Let's see what this does. Oh, and I move backwards too, but I'm about to run out of blocks if I keep using this, right? Because I can't go far enough. But wait a minute. Boom. We can use one loop on top of another. And so this will loop five times. Once all of this is done running, one, two, three, four, five, it's done. It falls beneath, and now it will do move back five times. Awesome. One other way of maybe doing this is what if I had forward here? Well, I could still do that. We were two blocks short. So if you want, you could have had forward and you turn twice. Still 10 blocks. The other way, though, got us there in eight. Onward. All right. Let's see. We can use 11 blocks. We got one. Hmm. I'm going to start throwing down code like always. Move forward, move forward. Kind of looks like a square. Let's see what this does. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to keep going just to plan this out. Lots of code here. I think this will get me to there. Try again. However, you took more blocks. I'm at 15. Okay. Well, let's start looking for repeated code. Hmm. Here's a problem, though. It goes up by one each time, right? So this is three, then turn right. This is four, then turn right. And it looks like I only need one here. So that's kind of hard to repeat. But let's try using multiples then. And so I could turn right then, and then how many times? Three, okay. And then after that, I want to turn right. Then what? Well, I want to do this thing. Okay, well then, four. And what's going to happen here? Also, if you want, you could have used a repeat for these two move forwards, but it's the same amount of blocks, so I just didn't. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm missing. That shouldn't be forward. Somehow I lost my right turn. Okay, so you could also, yep, what's going to happen here? I'll move forward twice and I turn right. I then three times in a row will go forward again. Once that's done, once this code in the pink mouth runs, I fall beneath it, turn right, 
forward four times and keep going. Let's check it out. Bam. Onward. All right. Oh, my goodness. Complicated. All right. One out of 12. I'm going to throw some stuff down and see. Looks like three. Then maybe a right. And then three. And again, I know I'm going to go over on blocks, and that is okay. Sometimes students get really worried about that, but we're just, you can be wrong with code at first. You can test things. That's what I love about computers. So I'm already over on blocks, and I don't think this even gets me there. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to keep going, though. It looked like I needed a couple more move forwards. Think three. Now let me start looking for patterns. Move forward three times, turn right. Move forward three times, turn left. Move forward three times, turn right. Uh, okay, so we have some options here. If I turn left at the end, right when I get this, that really wouldn't matter. So I could put an entire loop around that, right? And just run this twice. That's one option. And let's think about it, though. What if there's oftentimes more than one way to solve it? Let's think if this is a good candidate for another way. What if I just do this instead? Three... Looks like this would also work, I think. Let's try them both. Yep, that one worked. Keep playing. Now let's see if this one does. So depending on how you want to do it, what's great about computer science and coding, there's more than one way, oftentimes, to solve a problem. Onward. Both of those would be correct. Okay, so we got to go through this code step by step, obviously. Keep in mind, when you hit click an answer and hit run, you won't be able to change it, and it submits to your teacher. All right, so let's think. Repeat two times, move forward. Okay, so once, twice, yep. Then turn left. Wait a minute, once, twice, and then turn left? Okay, then move forward three. One, because I turn left, once, twice, turn left. One, two, three, okay. Turn right. Well, that's fine. I'm here, though. Forward three. One, two, three, okay. BB-8 will travel too far in the first loop. BB-8 will not travel enough in the first loop in order to get all the scrap. He'll collect all of the scrap. Hmm. I'm thinking that, right? Because 2, 1, 2, that doesn't seem like enough. Now make sure you go back and watch this part again if you're not getting that, because this is important. Alrighty. Oop, you're almost there. This time you choose any path. Oh, all we have to do is get that one. Alright, I'm going to use some of what we learned. And I'll talk about it in a sec. Testing. Okay. Now this will work, but it's a whole lot of code. Let me look for repeats. Forward, right, forward, left, forward, right, forward, left. Ooh, that looks like a candidate. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah. Victory. Let me see, though. Can we do better than that? What if we followed this pattern throughout? What if I did joop, joop, joop? Because even though there's, there's nothing here, I bet I can still do the same step pattern. And that's what's great about code. There's more than one way. Sometimes it's more efficient to take a second look. Let's keep going. 